Okay, now on to the mobile design. We're going to do this a completely different than the other two designs in that we're going to stack all the images and all the type on top of each other because we have such a narrow field of view there. So starting out here, we're going to have to make some design decisions. And also, um, to start out with, I'm going to zoom in here. I created this little menu icon here. So I can have a drop down menu instead of a menu like this because I don't have as much space here. So um, starting from that, I think I'm going to go ahead and maybe leave the logo the same size, but definitely change the size of the box here. So again, to start out with, this is my header box, this white box here. And um, I think I'm going to transform that. So we're going to use control T here and I'm going to make it the same width as the the menu box that I created there so let's see what that is we'll make it fit right there and then now I'm going to see how I'm going to position the the logo here again I want to keep it the same size here so it's just easier to read um, we're going to go ahead and put the um, the guides on if they're going to come on here and then we'll see how we're going to align that from here so i'm going to start with the logo and i think i'm just going to nudge it over um, and then maybe stick to 15 pixel units here so i'm going to cut that in half of what i'm usually doing there another way i can tell where I am at here, if it's, especially if it's hard to see with guides like this, is I can actually go to the properties and I can see my X and Y axis. So I was pretty close there. I was at 14, but if I wanted it at 15, I can just type it in there. And it will position things um, perfectly for me there. So again, I'm still a little bit outside the box here. Um, and then let's go ahead and see what we can do with the the actual type itself. Um, let's move that. I'm going to go ahead and drag that up here. And it looks like if I want to use it, I'm going to definitely have to make it smaller. So um, I could make it on a second line, maybe. Um, So we could try that, or let's try transforming it and see how that looks. And see if it's going to be too small by doing that. So again, it's going to be a, a kind of a judgment call. I'm going to start with it there and see how it goes, see how it works from there. Um, but so far, I mean, it's, it's not too bad. Let's see how it fits with the rest of the layout there. Okay, so let's start with that. And then the next thing we're going to get to is our hero image. So um, whether I want to use that or not, I might have to change that image. It, it just might not work for what I'm doing there. So we'll see. Let's give it a chance and we'll see how it fits in there. Um, so to start out with, I think I'm going to have to move it up somewhat and then let's see if by transforming it it's a pretty large image here and let's see if this will even even come close to working so maybe use part of it I think the type here is going to be distracting. Um, so I might make it bigger uh, or just use that part of it, the image right there. That may, might be kind of cool to do. Actually, I'm kind of liking that right there. And with the guides off, we can see that this actually looks pretty cool. Um, it looks like I have a little white space there, so I might have to move the image up a little bit to 
compensate for that or to get rid of that? Um, no. Nope. So where that actually is has got to be with the this box here. Oops, not that one. In the header. So is this header box here? If I want to get rid of that, I would have to make this a little smaller. Oh, that's too much. And there we go. So again, let's zoom out a little bit. And again, that looks pretty darn good. I am liking that. It looks like I missed a little bit over here. So again, um, it's just a question of using the arrow keys to nudge it in place. Looks like I'm going to have to transform a little bit again. Didn't quite get it to fill everything like I wanted. There's a little, a little doohickey there at the end. So that looks pretty good there. Okay, I'm really liking that. Okay, so that is pretty much the the header and the hero image. And then now we can start with courses here. So um, again, what we're going to do is stack everything. And so to start out with, we're going to have the text fit on there. And then I'm going to stack these on top of each other. So... There is the text. It's way down there for classes. So let's go ahead and grab it and move it on up. And then we're going to transform it. Now, again, we're using 15 pixel units here. Whoa, you can see there it is right there. So I love those, um, those guides. And now another thing, too, that I, I, I figured um, just doing some math here to really make it easy to fit into here. If I make all these boxes 290 pixels wide, I will have 15 pixels on either side. So 290 plus 30, 15 and 15, equals 320. So I can do that with pretty much everything here. So when I go ahead and transform the text here, I just want to make sure the box, when I transform it, ends up being 290. And then I'll show you it's super easy from here. So once I have it at 290, I can then go and make sure that it's selected here, go in my properties, and this, then all I have to do is type in 15 here for the x-axis. And it will be perfectly spaced on. Okay, so that 15, there was a little space on the end here, so I had to play with it a little bit. And if you just drag with the um, smart guides on, then you can find the middle, and that's what I did there. So I started out with featured classes there, so I need to find left and right. Um, this one down here looks like it's the left. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to drag that up. And I just want to kind of stack them for right now. There's the center one. And then there's the right one. So I, could, I just want to be able to see them. And we'll put them on top of each other. So then, like I said, all we're going to have to do here is make sure that they're 290 pixels wide. And then that will make it super easy. Again, with my smart guides, I was able to find 15 there. Um, let's see what size these are. It'd be awesome if they already were. They're 300 pixels, so I'm going to have to reduce them a little bit there. So let's go ahead and transform and then make them 290. And then, I'll, again, all I have to do is go up here to my properties and then type in 15 there and it should be perfectly aligned. 15 and 15 there. Okay, and then I'll do the same thing with this one. So 
So got to make sure I'm on the right layer. Drag this one up. And again, with the smart guides, uh, it should help me get it aligned properly. So it's 15 in between there, just like before. I'm going to transform it again. Okay, so once again, transforming this image here. Um, select it, Control T, and then drag from the corner till we get 290. Double click. And then we'll move it on up. Fifteen pixels there. Look at the properties. Pretty dang close. Fifteen. Should be perfectly aligned. And then the same thing with this guy. Again, we've got to be on the right layers. So helps. Okay. Um, let's transform this guy. Two ninety, and then drag it up. Fifteen pixels there. Go to our properties. Fifteen, and we're perfectly aligned. So let's zoom out and see how that looks. Okay, so we're looking pretty good there. Um, nice. I like what, what it's doing up on top here. We have our featured classes here. They're all lining up together. The next section that we're going to have to look at here is the About section. Okay, so let's zoom in here and start with this section. Now, you have to decide what you want to be on top, the text or the um, image. And in my mock-up, I had the text on top because I thought the text was probably more important. So that's what we're going to do here. Um, we can also have this box here and start off with that. So if you want to, you can go ahead and um, open up the, the about box and turn off these other things so they're not distracting. And then get the the height of this correct so let's zoom in here and then make sure we got our 15 pixels there because everything's going to be 15 pixels they're going to make it so super easy 15 is there we don't really need to change this because if we need to we will um, make it wider or thinner or whatever we need to do so let's start with the text and we're probably going to have to go ahead and transform that text. Again, make sure we're on the right layer. Two ninety is where we want it. And we just want to make sure that we're, we're 15 pixels down from here. And also that we're 15 in from there. So our properties, we're 19 right now. We go to 15 and hit enter and then we're fine. So that looks like it's about 15 pixels there. Now we can add the image. So there's the map. And again, we're going to transform that. Make sure that it's 290. And we have 15 pixels in between there. And then if we go over here, to the properties, 15 pixels, it's perfect. How about that? And then we can double check and make sure we have 15 pixels down here, but it looks like it's fine. If you turn on the grid, you would probably want to double check that there too. 